In a clinical trial, a surrogate outcome may be used to replace the measurement of main interest and relevance to participants, clinicians and other stakeholders. The surrogate outcome is a substitute for the real target outcome. Trials may use surrogate outcomes for practical reasons. This is because surrogate outcomes typically can be measured more simply and quickly than the real target outcome. Using a surrogate outcome may reduce research costs or mean that fewer patients need to participate in the trial. For these reasons, it can be very appealing to industry and people who design clinical trials to use surrogate outcomes. If a researcher is measuring the effectiveness of treatments for preventing strokes, there are a lot of potential outcomes they would have to monitor, such as mini-strokes and possibly even death, and that would mean following patients in their study for a long time. Blood pressure has shown to have a strong association with these outcomes and is very quick, easy and accurate to measure, so it has become a common surrogate outcome in this setting. Blood sugar levels are surrogate outcomes for diabetes-related complications and death. In cancer, measuring the tumour size may be used as a surrogate outcome for how long the patient is likely to survive. Alzheimer's disease causes memory loss that will get worse over time, and researchers may want to quantify that. However, measuring memory is very hard, and interpreting levels of memory loss can be unreliable. Instead, researchers may measure amyloid plaques in the brain, something that can be done precisely and has been shown to link to disease progression. However, caution is needed when using surrogate outcomes. They may be of limited value because of the uncertainty of how reliable they are and how they relate to the real target outcome. For example, in some cases, a treatment could show an improvement in the surrogate outcome, but fail to show improvement in the target outcome which measures the real benefit. Sometimes a treatment may show improvement in the surrogate outcome but result in unforeseen harms. Because of this concern, it is important that the use of surrogate outcomes in trials is linked to those which have been shown to be likely accurate predictors of real target outcomes. It is also important to ensure that patients are clearly informed about the use of surrogate outcomes in clinical trials and any associated risks or potential adverse reactions. This is the purpose of the new guidelines describing how to use and report surrogate outcomes in clinical trials. Thank you for watching.